Joe, I watched uh, the president speak Saturday at CPAC, and of course he stole the show. I feel badly for the candidates, including DeSantis. They don't have nearly the charm or charisma of a President Trump. But he's out there, and he made it pretty clear that they can indict me a thousand times. You know, maybe Georgia, maybe January 6th, maybe Mar-a-Lago. It's, it, none of it's going to stick. He's not going to get convicted. He's not going to prison. So he may very well win the presidency with three or four standing indictments, and then we're going to come to realize all of this was an attempt gone bad by the Democrats. Maybe then, yes? Yeah, I think so. And what I told him, and I believe this wholeheartedly, that these cases, these, 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 Cases that aren't cases, if you were John Smith or any other human being in the United States of America, they would never, ever be prosecuting these cases, okay, or bringing them. A win in any of these cases propels him to the White House, okay? To me, he's playing for the nomination. And winning this changes the landscape. Even the New York Times has to report his a courtroom win in something like this, okay? And there's not many opportunities for a victory like this. So it is going to backfire. It's absolutely going to backfire. But the fact that they're they're trying to influence the next presidential election by bum-rushing some charges against them. I mean, this, of all the cases, Stormy Daniel, are yeah. you kidding me? I mean, please, There's yeah. no legal precedent yeah. for it, Sid. There is no well, legal precedent. Can I ask you this? And, and there's the no legal legal precedent for this and i was talking about this with morano this morning forget about legal precedents i'm trying to find out what law exactly did president trump break i can't find it i can't figure it out there you go and you know look campaign finance laws are murky and all of the underlying legal theories are untested and never been utilized in this manner and and you go ask a legal scholar they're all out there opining including members of federal election committees 